wish that I could take this off like an orange peel of all my thoughts. Hide away. Hi, I'm Gail, and I'm here to play a little game of song association with Elle. I'm gonna be given a word, and I'm gonna have 10 seconds to sing or rap the song using the word. I feel like my competitive instincts are gonna kick in and then I'm gonna like try really hard to get it quickly, but then because I'm gonna be trying so hard, I'm gonna forget and not be able to think of anything. So we'll see. Before we start the game, if you could check out my music or something, I just came out with an EP called A Study of the Human Experience Volume 1. It's on all streaming platforms for G-A-Y-L-E. I'm on Instagram under Gail. I'm on TikTok, Gail Can't Spell. I'm on Twitter, who is Gail? Facebook, Gail Official. So yeah, if you could check that out, it'd mean the world to me. We got this, we got this. I'm gonna be great, I believe in myself. We got this, we got this. New. New. Why is that so difficult? I'm doing great, this is, this is going great. New. Oh my gosh, I got new rules. I count them, or is that, yeah. It probably, I'm pretty sure it might be no rules or new rules. No. <laughs> Dumb. Dumb. Why is this? Oh my God. It's my fear looking like a dumbass. <laughs> Saying something that I shouldn't have. It's holding me back, holding me back, holding me back. Yeah. <laughs> that is a song. I released when I was 15. I wrote it when I was 14. With this particular song, I walked in and I had this quote that I just found really inspiring and I really related to. And it was like, your fear of looking stupid is holding you back. We kind of like came up with a bit of a melody and then I, a writer in the room was like, we should do like close off and like close off. Like that'd be a cool plan. I don't know what crack I was on or something. I was just like, we should do, I did this thing where I close off my feelings and I take my clothes off so I don't have to open up to my boyfriend. And they were like, Okay, second verse. I was like, mm, first verse. And <laughs> that, that was kind of the writing process with that. Yeah, I was just in a point in my life where I was just drawing from the inspiration of like all of my insecurities. And like, I was literally like sucking in my stomach 24 seven. And I still like struggle with doing that, but that was something I was like doing a lot. And it was just really affecting me mentally because I felt like I didn't have like a proper image of what my body actually looked like. And I was just having like unrealistic ideas of like how I should look and who I should be and like who I should please. And I was in the middle on the process of kind of realizing how deeply that was affecting me. And I was just starting to kind of get over my own bullshit. Okay, I'm aware of this and I'm doing this, but I don't wanna do that. So how am I gonna do that? And that was that song. Car. Car. You can crash my car and die. Go on and waste it. That's a song by Coin. Absolutely amazing. I've screamed that song in my bathroom many times. Friends. Tell me if we're just friends. Na 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 da na na. Song by Jordy Searcy. He actually used to be my guitar teacher when I was 12, and now he makes music in Nashville. So I moved to Nashville when I was 12. I started going back and forth when I was 10 and I originally started in country music just from like being in Texas, going to Nashville. One thing I really love about Nashville is like the collaborative co-writing culture. There's always something music event going on where you have the possibility of meeting people and like co-writing with people and there's so many different genres in Nashville. Most of the time like people think it's predominantly country, which it is. But then there's also like different sides of country music where it's like it can be more of like an Americana country music. It can be more of like a soulful landing country music or sometimes it's just like I also know people that are literally just do like focus on like a soul and R&B. My favorite thing too is like people love to like blend genres and just like they're like I do what I do and you do what you do and let's see if that works together. And um, and it's also like everybody always gets like a chance. The first song I played in, live in Nashville, it was at this bar called Tootsie's, and it was in the middle. It was in the middle of somebody's like four hour set, and I just walked up to them and I was like, "Yo, do you need a bathroom break?" And they're like, "Yes, please." And I. I was playing their guitar and I felt so fancy because I put my capo on the fifth fret and I was like, yeah, I know how to use a capo and I'm 10, <laughs> you know, the guitar is bigger than me. And I played, I played a song I wrote and it was called um, Brave Enough. I am brave enough to live my dream. I don't care what you think as long as I just believe because I am brave enough to live my dream. <laughs> Hold. 
Hold, hold on, hold on to me, cause I'm a little unsteady. Number. Oh, um, my name is, no, my sign is, my number is, no, no, no not to the, not to the, no, 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 Megan Trainer. Also a Nashville girl. Orange. <laughs> um, wish that I could take this off like an orange peel of all my thoughts. Hide away, hide away, take my feelings and just take a break, take a break. Mm. I remember I was like 14 and I was like making food and I just like decided two things about myself. I like orange and I like pears and I don't care if anybody thinks that's weird. I made it such a point in my personality that all of my friends get me things that are orange and so then like I just have so many things in my room now that's just orange and now I'm just committed at this point, even if it is my favorite color. It is my favorite color, but it's just now it's gonna be my favorite color because I'm stubborn and I've decided it. Tell. 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 Tell me why ain't nothing but a heart, but tell me why. I was thinking nothing, like completely blank, and then that song just popped into my brain. Yeah. Sign. I should take it as a th no. Oh my God. Just stop your crying, it's a sign of the times. Oh, I should have known. I should have known. That's, I'm very disappointed in myself in this moment. Sleep. I <laughs> really need to stop sleeping with my friends. Romanticize everything in my head. In my song for the weekend, I'll never see them again. I released a song called You're Just Horny after ABC, and in my head, Sleeping My Friends is kind of a prequel because I was just in a point in my life where I was very just like numb, and people just would engage things with me sexually, and I would just kind of go through the motions. And I just got to a point where I just like sometimes didn't know why I was doing the things I was doing. I just make decisions out of loneliness or just not feeling anything at all. And it was just very confusing. With specifically sleeping with my friends, that's really where I was in that moment of time. Best. 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 Oh my gosh. Hit me with your best shot. Come on and hit me with your best shot. Such a good song. Song. You got me singing love songs, love songs. Yeah, you got me singing love songs, love songs, love songs. Oh my God, it's so good. Such a good song. Lose. Lose you to love me. I, oh wait, I, I needed you, I needed to lose you to love me. To love, love, to love, love, to love, love. I needed to hate you to love me. Pool. Throwing kitty pools, I'm a fool. I want oceans on my tippy toes, holding loans. Fuck your floaties. Can I curse? I don't know if I can curse. I'm like, oh, okay. Fucking great. Art. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Fuck you and your mom and your sister and your job and your broke ass car and the shit you call our fuck you and your friends that I'll never see again. Everybody but your dog, you can <laughs> fuck off. Without this song, my life would be completely different. I wouldn't be sitting in this chair, <laughs> you know, and like talking to amazing people. I wouldn't be going on the tour that I'm going on. I wouldn't be collaborating with the people I'm collaborating with. I wouldn't be going to the places that I'm going, it's terrifying, but it's so exciting, you know? It's like such a privilege and an honor to be able to like do music and like have the opportunity to try and be doing it full time and like maybe not have to go to college or something. It's changed so much for me and I'm just so, so grateful. Thank you so much for watching me play Song Association with Elf. Don't forget to check out my EP, my music. It's out, it's out in the world, and maybe a little social media if you're down, down to talk, DM me. To watch more videos, uh, make sure to subscribe to Elf.